What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be installing a UPR catch can on my 2015 Mustang GT with the Boss 302 intake manifold and twin turbos. So I don't really know what I'm doing, but this should be easy. Now it was supposed to get delivered on Friday before my track day, but it didn't. Thanks UPS. The only thing I'm concerned about is I have to take the vacuum line out of the intake manifold and it says to route it to another source, but it doesn't say what source. So. I've requested help from reinforcements, um, but we're gonna get some of this done. I do need to take off these filters. I should buy new ones while I'm at this, but. Okay, so a catch can mounts to a bolt. You take this bolt out and put it in there, I think. It doesn't really tell you. Um, I'm just assuming because that's the only place that I can logically see it going on the side. So let me show you an up close of it so you know which one. Okay, so I'm on the passenger side and it's this, it's kind of dark. This one right here that I'm gonna be taking this out and then that screws into. It's a good thing I didn't need that. I'm gonna unplug this sensor real quick actually, it'll make it easier. I don't even know why I have this line here. My AC doesn't work. No, it's cool. It's your world. I'm just living in it. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to just make my life easier. Take this off. Put this on. Oh, well, that's not a 10. You are a 13. It's a catch can. Like, it's a simple catch can install. Nothing can ever be simple with this freaking car. Hello? This goes on there. What do you have on here? Why is that twisting? I feel like it shouldn't be twisting. This goes on there. And I think it's up there. stupid but I finally got it to go on the spot I had to <sighs> I had to move the AC line a little bit which doesn't even matter because my AC line is messed up anyways so now I'm gonna tighten this so it doesn't fall off I have two horrible anchor issues for this I still have to figure out where that vacuum line is supposed to go because this is connected to where that vacuum line is. We're halfway there. Okay, as you can tell, it's not the same day. <laughs> um, it's a couple days later, so it's Saturday. I had to call UPR and be like, hey, I'm confused. And they were slightly confused too. You're confused, I'm confused, bro. Me too. But we got it all figured out. Um, they sent me a fitting so that I can tap that 
vacuum line into another vacuum line. So right now I'm gonna go to the gym um, and then I'm gonna come back. I ordered new air filters too because my other ones, they weren't, they were bad. Um, so I'll put those on, put the vacuum line on and then I'll be complete. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully everything works. Okay, I would have videoed that, but it was a lot easier than I thought. Um, so shout out to UPR for sending me a tea, but I thought it was gonna be a different tea, so I figured I was gonna have to cut into a vacuum line, but they made it so much easier on me. Um, I'll show you what it is. So this is the tea that they sent me. It basically just like pops right into this vacuum right here, and then I had to take this, off of this vacuum line. Th this vacuum line was um, what was causing me problems. So I took that off, stuck it onto one of their little adapters, popped another one off here, and then put this on here. So my vacuum line is all set. Now I just have to put a hole in one of the filters, which I got new filters, and then pop that side on, and then we're good. <laughs> okay, so here are my turbo filters. Someone's gonna yell at me for that. These are actually originally black, so they're not that bad. Everyone's like, oh my God, those are nasty. They are, but I found new filters. So I'm gonna put a regular one on the passenger side, and then I have to cut a hole in the driver's side one for this. I went to the gym and had a lot of caffeine, so I have my headphones in listening to music or else I cannot focus. Okay, I got it on. I refuse to show you the process of how I did this because I don't have a drill to drill into filter. And if my mom saw what I did, she would yell at me. So, I only stabbed myself once and pinched my thumb, so. Ooh, that's tight. I don't wanna listen to this song. This hose is excessive. How am I searching? do something different here actually. Now it's cool. It's your world. I'm just looking at it. Oh, thank you. Help me. Help me. Thank you. All right, just to recap, we've got our catch can. It is mounted in here. We've got this line going into this side of the valve cover. We've got this vacuum line that tees into this. This vacuum line goes to the turbos, so new filter, new filter, and then the other line that goes into this side of the valve cover. This shouldn't have taken me as long as it did, but we've got it. All right, I want to give a huge shout out to UPR products for being so quick and helpful with the little obstacle that I ran into. And as always, you guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications for new posts to always be involved in my nonsense.